the worms that we deal with in Arkansas come out of Texas, is where they come out of. And they'll, they'll start um, in, in the lower parts of Texas and they'll fly up the, through the southwest Arkansas, move on up through the state. And from what I understand, they're everywhere. I, I think this year caught us all by surprise. We were, you know, it just goes to show you what Mother Nature can and can't do. Last year, I don't remember them being as bad but this year they showed out. You see the damage on this Bermuda grass, it's just eating all up, eating down. Um, and then we dig down through the thatch and see there's a mature army worm right there. When we're actually out in a field looking, if we find two to three worms per square foot, um, then that's what we call threshold or treatment level. So at that point for a, a forage guy, when we actually have a little square that I take out or we can just kind of do a little um, assessment of a, of a square foot area, um, if we've got that many, that, that rancher, that farmer is going to have to treat with chemical. This is a bad outbreak. We're seeing it in pastures. We're also having some issues in row crops with soybeans uh, and even rice. We have some, it seems like the worms are on the outside of the field and they're working into this later rice. Well, I heard they were around, but I had them on my farm starting about the 1st of July. And we've been battling them pretty much since then. We check, that's the first thing we do every morning. Me and another guy, we tear out and go different meadows, different directions, figure out which one to spray today. and. We've been spraying so far, mine have hit kind of gradually, so I've been able to spray and keep up with them, but uh, some people are hitting them all at one time, and you can't, you know, even with a plane, it's hard to get them in under control in time. This year, I would say in about, you know, three or four days, they can march tr across the field and do a tremendous amount of damage to the crop, uh, the, to the haze that we've got here. This year, something that we've seen that is really, it's kind of insane, not unheard of, but they're destroying Johnson grass. You can see that um, this is a lush blade of Johnson grass, and this is what army worms have done to these. Well, we've had some, some issues with uh, uh, the lambda psi, which is the kind of the one to go to for, for killing some. And we think it may be a canopy problem. It, lambda psi has to get on the worm to kill him. Well, if he's down under, uh, a lot of vegetation, it, if it can't get to him, it won't kill him. There's one alive and there's another one alive. But if you look closely, there's actually a lot, a lot of dead worms out here. Um, and we visited with our state entomologist. Um, also, it, we're believing that it, this is a natural virus. Um, so the really cool thing about that is that, that the scientists can then take this, take uh, samples of these dead worms and then they can extract um, you know virus from that and then they can actually put together a virus that they can use to actually release and destroy army worms. Keep a watch on your place especially your young tender Bermuda grass, young tender crabgrass. They, uh, there's a certain stage in that Bermuda grass life that they really love it and uh, if it's really freshly cut they don't give it much trouble but if it's real old and mature they don't give it much trouble but uh, when it's in that middle stage, they will they'll wipe you out.